Good morning, Alicia. Mayor Brian Barnett says he was honored to be invited to this small gathering of local, state, and federal leaders. It was held, as you mentioned, yesterday at the White House. And the chief goal of Operation Warp Speed Vaccine Summit, he says, was to figure out how best to get the vaccine to people who need it, including right here in Michigan, and quickly. T minus 24 hours after that approval, they want them out in the street. And in 96 hours, they want what they said, shots in the arms. Rochester Hills Mayor Brian Barnett, former president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, got a unique glimpse yesterday into how Operation Warp Speed will hit the ground once the FDA gives the final green light to a COVID vaccine. He was one of a handful of local leaders invited to a special vaccine summit at the White House. And there's probably only 40 people in the room. I mean, it was a pretty small group, which is why you know, I was proud to represent Rochester Hills in southeast Michigan. President Trump signing an executive order prioritizing Americans to get the vaccine. We're very hopeful that the FDA will authorize the Pfizer vaccine within days. Moderna is expected to be approved soon after. President-elect Biden, whose administration will be largely tasked with vaccine distribution, vowing to make access a top priority. At least 100 million COVID vaccine shots into the arms of the American people in the first 100 days. 100 million shots in the first 100 days. Barnett telling Action News Operation Warp Speed will be a military executed event, but notes yesterday's summit also focused on partnerships with the private sector. You see a lot of competitors on the stage talking about how they work together. CVS and Walgreens working together, uh, FedEx and UPS working together. Now the big question for a lot of you this morning, who will get the vaccine and when? Now, governors of each state will head up the distribution. In terms of when that vaccine could come, the FDA again is meeting tomorrow. Essentially, they're convening what's really a science court to review the Pfizer data. Approval could come anytime after that, possibly within days. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Yeah.